Hey guys, this is Computer Techie, and today I'm going to show you how to make your voice sound like T-Pain using Audacity 1.3 Beta and Auto-Tune Evo. So first you want to go online and go onto this website called, um, whoops, hold on a second. Go onto audacity.sourceforge.net slash download. Down here there should be a thing that says 1.3 Series Beta, and it's available for both Windows and Mac versions. Um, I'm going to download it for Windows. You can o go over here and click download and then go down here and click SourceForge beneath alternative download links. Now um, you can download it by clicking that button. Once you've installed Audacity 1.3 you also want to get the VST enabler from audacityteam.org slash VST. Um, it's available for both Windows and Mac and it's required if you want to use um, Autotune. So I'm going to install it for Windows, and you want to click Save. And after you've saved it, you can go ahead and close that. I've already saved it. And now you want to get your auto-tune. So you want to go into ontarostech.com slash download slash demo dot shtml. And there should be PC down here. Click Auto-Tune Evo VST, and it's available also for Mac. Click Save if you want to save it, and I'll just close that. And then you want to... I'm going to close that too. After you've installed uh, Audacity 1.3, you want to go ahead and install Autotune Evo right here. It's in a folder. Go ahead and click that and install it. And down here, you also want to click, whoops, you want to go down here and click on your VST bridge and install that. Now, I'm going to open up Audacity 1.3. So, um, after you do that, you can go ahead and record your voice. I'm just going to record blank, and in the end of this video, I'm going to show you what it sounds like in the end. You can highlight whatever audio you want, but you don't have to. Then you can go ahead and click Effect in on Terrace Audio Auto Tune Evo VST. Now I'm um, you. I'm going to load um, my saved version. So scale major zero cents scale major key C tracking seventy five retune speed zero humanize zero natural vibrato zero point zero pitch amount zero amplitude amount thirty formant amount one hundred onset rate zero variation zero rate zero point one onset delay zero shape no vibrato throat length one hundred transpose zero and after you've said all these things you want to go ahead and click save and name it whatever you want so that you don't have to repeat um, fixing these settings every time because it will reset itself once you close Audacity. And go ahead and click OK and it will change your audio. And um, once you've done that, if you want to save it as an audio file, you go up here, click File, click Export, and then name it whatever you want so you can play this with Windows Media Player or whatever default setting you have. Click OK over here and then um, you can go ahead and close Audacity no I'm not going to change save the changes open up your music and there it is T-Pain okay so now I'm going to show you where to install the programs Okay, now I'm going to show you where to install Autotune and the VST enabler, so, or the VST bridge. So go into Documents and um, open up your Autotune folder. Well, first you want to go ahead and install VST bridge. Okay, so um, this should show up. Click Next. Accept the agreement. Click Next again. Click Next again. And then browse this is the most one of the most important parts click on browse and make sure up here it should either say program files well, click C it should either be in program files or program files x6 or 8x86 click audacity 1.3 beta and click plugins okay so it should say C program files x86 for me audacity 1.3 beta slash plugins click next and then go ahead and install it now with um, auto tune you want to do the same thing 
So open up the installer real quick. Hold on a second. It's being slow for some reason. Uh, okay. So, um, let it load for just a second. It's extracting the files. Um, okay, so you want to go ahead and click next. Click next again. Agree. Accept the terms. I mean, click next again. And then click change up here. So you want to make sure you want to click this folder back here until it says program files or it says should say gateway NBC. Either well, mine's is C. Just just look for C. It should either be in program files or program files x86. Mine's in x86. Find your Audacity 1.3 beta folder. Click on it. Hold on a second. Click on it. Click on plugins. Then click VST bridge. And then click OK. It won't show the VST bridge unless you've already installed the VST part. So go ahead and click next and in install. And this requires that you restart your computer. So I'm not going to install it right now. Because otherwise the video would cut off. But that's it. Um, once you do that, then AutoTune should appear in Audacity 1.3. Like uh, you saw earlier in the video. And now I'm going to show you what, it's, what the voice sounds like using Autotune. Hey guys, this is Computer Techie. If you recorded your voice and did the auto-tuning correctly, then your voice should sound somewhat like this. Uh, if you haven't noticed the T-Pain effect so far, maybe you'll notice it now. <laughs>